Today we're making boxes, and you may or may not know, have known that you could make them with your laser, but you can, and it's actually pretty easy. So if this is what you're interested in, then stick around. How's it going everybody? I'm Steve and I make everything, and welcome back to the shop where together we make your world using modern workshop technologies. And as I mentioned in the lead-in, today we're making boxes. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm up to. Okay, so here we go. I brought you into a tool called Box Designer, which you can find online, and there's quite a few of these tools around, but they're really just designed for, well, designing boxes, and specifically for laser cutting. And in my case, I wanna create a box that's 100 millimeters uh, square inside, and uh, about 60 millimeters high. Now, we do have to keep the material thickness accounted for, so when you look at my, my design here, you'll see it's 106 by 106 by 63. And that's really all you need to do. And that allows you to have kind of two walls of thickness in each dimension and uh, one, the bottom uh, of the box is about three millimeters. We're using three millimeter material here. And the material thickness, I measured it with a caliper and it's actually 2.85, but we'll call it three just to allow for some error. And I'm gonna say the file type is SVG. You can play with these settings uh, on your own. Uh, and I'll put the URL for this site down below, but you can see it up here. And in the case of my box, uh, I'm just gonna let it auto determine the notches uh, on the side. I'm gonna have basically a 50% box joint. So it'll look quite interesting uh, uh, when it's done. And the only other option I have here is I, I don't include a lid because I, I wanna create my own lid for this. So that's it. We click the design it button and uh, we'll have a box and uh, I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Okay, so I loaded my, my box pieces in and you can see there's a bottom and four sides. Now I do wanna make a, a lid for this and it'll just be a, a lid that sits on, on the top. And what I'll do is I'll make the lid in two pieces so that we can just set it on without it sliding off. And I'll, I know the outside dimensions here are 106 millimeters. So that's the ultimate top of the box. And then I'll make another smaller, smaller piece that fits inside the box and I know the inside dimensions are 100 by 100 but I want a little bit of play so I'll make it 99.8 millimeters uh, just to make sure that the box fits right and the other thing I'll do because the corners of the box can sometimes get messed up with glue and whatnot uh, what I'll do is I'll just grab the corner here and just round it a bit so that it so that it sits nice so there's our box and uh, one other thing we'll do is we'll put a piece of text on here just so that there's a title on the top of this and we'll just call it my box of knickknacks and we'll center it and uh, we'll pick a nice font for this. Uh, this ballet font is quite nice so we'll apply that and now we'll make it a bit bigger so that it sits on the box and stands out a bit more and we'll also want to center it on the top of the lid. So we'll just select them both and, and align them together. So there's our box. I'll, so what I'll do is I'll shoot this over to the laser, cut out all these pieces and, and show you what we have in the end. Okay, so I have the box pieces here. I've cut them out. We have the four sides and the two pieces for the top and of course the bottom and we'll start with with, the, with that and we'll just peel off all of the masking that we that I used here to cut just to make sure that things don't get burnt. For the glue, we're just gonna use standard white glue, uh, standard wood glue and we'll start with the bottom and all I'm gonna do is just put a dab of glue on each of the tabs that are sticking out and we'll do the same thing on the vertical pieces, uh, just to make sure that, they're, uh, that there's glue on both sides. And once we do that, we press them all together and I put a clamp on them here, a couple clamps, just to let things settle down. And then I used a paper towel to wipe out the overspill on the glue. 
And then we'll do the same thing with the top. I mentioned it's a two piece top. So we have the smaller inside piece, which is the one with the rounded corners. And that one's designed to fit inside the, the lip of the box. And we'll just put that on the, on the, on the larger square rect uh, square and press it down, make sure that everything is, is kind of lined up equally here and uh, you know, clamp it down. You can put some weight on it and that's it. We have our box built. Okay, so let's take a look here. Here's the first box. You can see it's got a nice uh, top. The script looks good. Uh, bottom's nice and solid. You can just pop the top off. You can see that inner inner lid and nice and clean inside. It just, it just kind of plops on there and there you go. Okay, so for our second box, we're going to do something a little fancier. We're going to create a, a two-piece box with a, a lid that actually has hinges and hardware, latching hardware. So the bottom part of the box is fundamentally the same. I used Box Designer. The only difference here is the dimensions of the box are 160 by 160 millimeters, so it's you know 60% bigger, and the height of the box is the same. Now on the lid, rather than just have a flat lid that drops into the whole, the top part of the box, we're actually going to create what is effectively another box. And again, the dimensions of the top will be the same. We have some fancy text on it. The height of this box though will be uh, much lower. It'll only be 20, 20 millimeters high and it'll just drop on top. Now, because we're gonna put hinges on we'll, and, and a latch, we'll have some screw hardware that'll be a little longer than an eighth of an inch. So what I'll do as well, and I won't show you here, but I'm just gonna cut some pieces that fit inside the, the top and, and bottom sides that are just quarter inch Baltic birch, six millimeter, and I'll just glue them on on the inside when I'm done, and that'll be a place for the screws to hold on. And there's our box. I'll uh, lay it out and send it to the laser and glue it together and I'll show you what we have. Okay, so now we're going to look at box two. It's a little more elaborate. I took a bit more time. It's finished in, it's done with oak plywood, but fundamentally the box is the same. I did put some hardware on it so that it looks a little, a little slicker. And when you open it up, I, I put a bit of felt on the inside just to finish it off. And uh, there you go. It's, it's a pretty nice box and uh, hopefully you can enjoy something like that. So that's it, a couple of final thoughts here. You can see using a tool, it was pretty simple to create this box and really all you had to do is lay it out quickly in Inkscape and make whatever changes you wanted and uh, laser cut it and glue it together and you end up with something that's actually pretty spectacular for very limited work. Anyway, as always, hopefully you got something out of this video and uh, I'll leave a video over on the side with another project if you feel like watching that. Uh, by all means, go ahead and if you do, I'll see you over there. Uh, other than that, uh, go make your world and I'll see you next time.